Thanks for joining us in another episode of Science Shorts. Have you ever wondered what a naturalist is? Or what tools it takes to be one? Well, keep watching. Becoming a naturalist is as easy as stepping out your door. But wait a minute. Before we go outside, let's decide what a naturalist is exactly. A naturalist is a student of the natural world, a student of nature. The main occupation of a naturalist is to observe, to see the world, to look at nature, at the plants and animals, the insects, the fish and the birds, the rivers and lakes, and the sky and the trees, the rocks, the mountains and the valleys. Everything that makes up our world the world of nature. To really see this world, we have to use all of our senses, not just our eyes, but our ears, our fingers, our noses, and even, sometimes, our tongues. Our backpack is one of our most important tools because we need it to carry all the stuff we are going to need to record everything we see and to help us see it more clearly. Pens and pencils, notebooks and cameras, in addition to our senses, are all some of the tools we need to observe and record what we see as we wander around in nature. As a student of the natural world, we need to take notes to remember what we saw and what we heard. We need to record everything we experience so that we have a record of it for later. In the grown-up world of science, it is called accumulating data. Sometimes we'll need to draw a picture, sometimes write a description. We might even want to bring a sample back to look at it more closely. Often we need to see something that is far away and we can't quite get close to it. That's why an important tool of the budding naturalist is a pair of binoculars. When looking at something that is very small, we might need a loop or a small magnifying glass that will make the tiny things in nature seem larger so that we can see them more clearly. With a good loop, and they aren't very expensive, you can look at things that are standing still and at things that are moving slowly. But you have to be pretty quick to look at anything that is moving around. Sometimes we see things and we don't know what they are right away. That's why it's good to bring a field guide, a book that helps us identify what we are looking at. There are field guides for everything, from insects to birds to wildflowers to trees to weeds to mammals. This is what we naturalists do. We go outside and explore the world around us. And because we are students of the natural world, we take notes and record what we see so that we can study it later and tell other people what we saw and where and when we saw it so that they can go see it too. What will you see the next time you go out your door?